hi guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new to my channel thank you very much for stopping by my name is promoted sandra here on my youtube channel i do cutting and sewing tutorials pattern drafting diys in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to cut and sew this bobo kaftan dress okay so if this is something you're interested in seeing then keep up watching and please don't forget to like comment and also subscribe this really helped my algorithm a lot so without talking too much let us dive into today's video this is the material i'm going to be using this is ankara fabric and this is six yards of ankara fabric i'm going to be making use of four yards from it and this is yellow mikado for the front design you can make use of any material of your choice and also this one is of french for the front design as well if you check the dress you're going to see something like french on it so i'm going to be making use of this one so i've gone ahead to cut out four yards and i went ahead to fold it into two so when you fold your material into two this side that has black label that is this side that has label should be facing each other okay i hope you guys understand so i'm going to go ahead and fold it into two again because i'm going to be cutting both the back and the front together at once so this side that has labeled they are all facing towards one direction so i'm just going to go ahead and turn it this side that is close is going to be my center front and my center back so i'll go ahead and take the shoulder measurement of my client which is several inches i'll go ahead and mark it like this then i'll go ahead and take the wideness of the neck so i'll mark three inches so if you are making for a client that is not too fat go ahead and make use of two and a half inches instead of three inches then i'll come down by one inch for the back neckline i'll go ahead and use my french curve and connect it together like this so this is the back neckline i will come to the shoulder like this i will measure how long the sleeve is going to be so take the sleeve measurements of your client so i'm for my client is 13 inches i went ahead to mark 13 inches from this point here like this i will come down by half inch for the shoulder slope then I'll go ahead and connect the slant line from the neckline to that half inch I came down with with my French curve like this. So from that point, I will measure the wideness of the sleeve, which is 10 inches. I want to, to make use of 10 inches. So if you want your sleeve to be wider, then make use of 11 inches. So I'll go ahead and mark a straight line across like this. Then I will go ahead and place my tape on the shoulder. I will measure my client's bust point, which is 11 inches i will mark a point there like this then i'll go ahead and use my ruler to mark a straight line across so from the shoulder i will still place my tip and measure my client's hip line which is 26 inches from the shoulder to the hip line is 26 inches i'll mark a straight line across like this then i will come to the bust point i will divide her bust by four which is going to give me 10.05 i will mark it like this and i will add extra six inches allowance okay remember this is a bubble gun so we add extra six inches to it so if you don't want your bubble gun to be too big go ahead and add four inches or five inches so i will come to the hip line i will divide her hip by four which is going to give me 10.05 i will mark it then i will add extra six inches to it so i will measure from the shoulder to the full length of my client so after uh, taking the full length of my client, I added extra two inches for folding allowance. So for the down part, I divided the hip by four. I marked it and I went ahead to add extra five inches instead of six inches. So once I was done, I'll go ahead and connect all the points together like this. So from the hip, I will use my straight ruler to mark a slant line from the hip to the down part. so i'll go ahead and cut it out just like as you can see me doing so once i was done cutting it i will go ahead and open it up i will remove the inner one which is going to be serving as the back part of this bubble dress then i'll go ahead and refold this one so I'll go ahead and measure the front neckline measurement. I'll place my tape on the shoulder like this. Then I'll go ahead and slant my tape just like as you can see me doing. I will measure 8 inches. 
so if you want your cleavage to be showing you can measure you can make it of 9 inches 10 inches just depend on you so once i was done marking it i will go ahead and cut it out just like this so once i was done i will go ahead and keep this aside so i've gone ahead to cut out the front design i'm just going to go ahead to explain this to you so i went ahead to fold my fabric into two so once i was done folding it into two i went ahead to give it a very good press like i went ahead to iron it so once i was done ironing it i went ahead to cut out the exact measurement i'm going to be needing so the wideness that i have here is about 11 inches wide so this is 11 inches wide and the length that i make use of is the half length of my client from her shoulder to her half length which is to her waist is 16 inches so i added one inch joining allowance which gave me a total of 17 inches so what i have here is 70 inches and i also went ahead to cut out this tiny piece for the sleeve design so i went ahead to fold my fabric into two like this just like as you can see me doing after folding it i went ahead to iron it so the length i have here is about 13 inches remember the wideness of our sleeve is 10 inches so i added extra three inches to be on the silver side so i cut out two pieces so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to go ahead and work on the front part of this dress so what i'm going to be doing now is to go ahead and place my akara material which is the front part of this bubu dress on this yellow mikado like this please watch out what i'm doing in case you don't understand just make sure the side that is folded on the mikado is also facing the side that is folded on your akara material so once i was done i'll go ahead and cut out the neckline like this now after cutting it i'll go ahead and remove the pin please pay attention to what i'm doing so the next thing i'm going to be working on is the shoulder the wideness of the shoulder so i'm going to go ahead and measure three and a half inches for the wideness so three inches is going to be for the wideness half inch is going to be for the for the allowance or joining allowance so I'm going to go ahead and mark a straight line across like this from the neckline to the down part of this front design. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. So once I was done cutting out the front, this is how it looked like. So the next thing I'm going to be working on is the back part of this bubu dress. So I've gone ahead to fold this fabric into two. Then I'll place the back neckline. It's very easy. I'll cut out the neckline. I will take the measurement of the shoulder. So at this point here like this, I will measure 2 inches downward. I don't want the back part to be too wide. I will go ahead and connect it, then cut it out like this. I will keep it aside. So I will fold the edge of the front part like this. I will fold it in with half inch. Just watch out what I'm doing. I will fold the two sides and I will also fold the down. And I will also fold the back as well. So I've gone ahead to fold it. This is how it look like as you can see. So what I'm going to be doing is to go ahead and open my fabric. This is the right side facing towards the down part of this table. Then the right side of the front is also facing the down. Okay. So I hope you guys understand. This is the front facing down and this is the front facing down. So I'll go ahead and pin it together like this. So once I was done pinning it, I will take to the same machine and sew it like this with half an inch round. So guys, I've gone ahead to sew it and this is what I have here. So what I'm going to be doing is to go ahead and notch it round. So once I was done notching it, I will just flip it to the front part like this. I hope you guys are understanding this. I will flip it to the front like this. So once I was done um, doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and iron it out. Please, if you know that your material is washing, please do not use water to iron it. Just be careful when ironing your dress. So after I was done ironing it, I discovered this part was still kind of puff. It was not smooth. So I will just place my bust ham at the down like this. Then I will go ahead and iron it for a smoother look. And boom, I have that. So the next thing we are going to be doing is to place this uh, fringe on it. Okay, remember, remember there is fringe at the front part of this dress so to get the exact place i'm going to be placing the french what i'm going to be doing is to go ahead and fold my fabric into two like this then iron it okay so I'll fold it into two make sure you fold it into two i will iron this part then i also go ahead and chalk it at the case the light did not show where at least the chalk will show 
So I'm just going to go ahead and place it on the middle like this. So the purpose of ironing is for you to get the middle. So I'll place it on it like this. After placing it, I'll place the material that is this front design on at the top. Like I'll place it on the top. Mm. <laughs> on the top at the top. So after placing it, after targeting it, now I know where I'm going to be placing this um French. I'm just going to go ahead and thread my needle and tack it first before sewing it. So I will tack it from the back to the front. Just go ahead and sew your own and know just do it the way you know you can do it. So after tacking it, I'll go ahead and place the front I like the lapel just to be sure that this is in place. So I'll go ahead and tack it just like as you can see me do it. After tacking it, I'll go ahead and tie it, then cut it out. So once I was done, I'm just going to go ahead and place it right. Okay, so this is at the middle. So what I'm going to be doing is to pin the front part down like this. I will take to the sewing machine and sew it towards the edge. Like, sew it towards the edge like this. So this is just me sewing it. Just watch out what I'm doing and be careful with this. And when you are sewing it, please make sure you are arranging this with your hands so that you will not end up having poking all around after sewing it. So also go ahead and sew it down. Okay, just watch out how I am sewing this part. So I'll go ahead and top stitch on that part like two to three times just to hold it down very well. So I'll also go ahead and sew this part. Please, if you are enjoying this video, do well to like now. Like and comment because this really helped my algorithm a lot. So I've gone ahead to sew it and this is what I have. I will just go ahead and cut out the excesses at the shoulder. So I've also gone ahead to sew the back part and I'll just go ahead and cut out the SSCs. So the next I'm going to be doing now is to join the shoulder together. So right side is going to be facing the right side. That is the right side of the front is going to be facing the right side of the back. So I'll go ahead and pin the shoulder together. So after pinning it, I'll take to the same machine and sew it with half an inch. And I also go ahead and sew this other part with half an inch. So guys, I've gone ahead to sew it. After sewing it, I went ahead to give it a very good press. So the next thing now is to go ahead and work on the sleeve area. So just go ahead and open up your dress like this, okay? So we are going to be working on the sleeve. So once I was done opening up my bobo dress, so here I have the two designed for the sleeve. And there's something I did. I went ahead to fold the edge of one side with half an inch inward and I did that for the two. So this is the front side of this material and this is the back part of the material. So the front part of this um, tiny piece, that is this front side, this is the front side, is going to be facing the wrong side, that is the back part of this material like this. I will place it on it, then I will go ahead and pin it down, okay? So make sure the side you folded in with half an inch is facing towards you. So if you check, you're going to see that the side I folded in with half, um, half inch is facing me. So I'll go ahead and pin it down, take it to the sewing machine, sew it with half inch. And I will do the same thing for the other one. So guys, I've gone ahead to sew it and this is how it look like. I'll go ahead and cut out the excess. So right now, I'm just going to turn it towards the front part of this material and iron it down. I hope you guys understand what I just said. So go ahead and pin it down. After pinning it down, take to the sewing machine and sew it towards the edge. So guys, I've gone ahead to sew it. This is how it look like. So the next thing we are going to be working on is to go ahead and shaping our dress. So I will turn it to the back like this and arrange it. So after arranging it, I'll go ahead and pin it down. After pinning it, I will take to the sewing machine and sew it with half an inch. And I'm also going to be doing the same for the other side. And I'm going to be adding pockets to this dress. If you want to add pockets, you can add pockets. So for me, I'm going to be adding pockets. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please do well to like, comment, and subscribe so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get notified okay so after i was done sewing the two sides i'll go ahead and fold it down with one inch okay so guys i have another youtube channel where i do vlog i also make videos on how to make money how to start and grow a youtube channel 
so if that is something you're interested in i'm going to be leaving the link at the comment section and also the description session so once i was done sewing it this is the outcome of the dress you can see how beautiful and clean and also neat this is so thank you guys for watching i'm going to see you in my next video you can click on my videos to watch other tutorials that i have bye